Hello all, Dan from DroneBlog.com here. Today's video will show you how to update the firmware and fly safe databases on the DJI Flip. Feel free to use the chapters to skip to the areas of the walkthrough that pertain to you. After we go through the walkthrough of updating the firmware, we'll talk a little bit about why updating the firmware is a good idea. Now to update the firmware on your DJI Flip, you'll need your DJI Flip and installed battery, and also your remote controller. Now for this video, we'll be using the DJI RC2. However, most of the update process applies to those using the RCN3 or RCN2 as well. Additionally, we suggest that you always fully charge your Flip's batteries and remote controller before running a firmware update on your drone. The steps to update the firmware on the Flip are as follows. Before turning on the DJI Flip, remove the gimbal and the silicone camera covers if you have one on there. This will ensure that when the Flip is turned on, the gimbal's movement won't be impeded and cause errors. Next, after booting up your DJI RC2, make sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi network. To check this, go to your settings screen by double sliding down the notification shade. If your Wi-Fi is not enabled, tap the Wi-Fi icon and wait for a connection. Now, if you're connecting to Wi-Fi for the first time, press and hold the Wi-Fi icon. This will take you to the Wi-Fi settings where you can connect to your preferred network. Next, turn on the flip by pressing, then pressing and holding the power button. Now, if you've not changed the power on when unfolded options in the DJI Fly app, you can ignore this step because simply opening or unfolding the flip will turn it on. Now, from within the camera view screen, press the back button this will take you to the Flip home screen. Here, you'll see that there's a firmware update available. Choose Update. During the update process, the lights on the Flip will flash. The DJI RC2 may also reboot itself. You'll be alerted when the update is complete. Now, here's something to note. Oftentimes, the Flip may not restart itself after the update is complete so you may have to manually power it on afterwards to begin flying. Now, what if a firmware update doesn't appear to be available? How can you check for one manually? With the DJI RC2 turned on and connected to your Wi-Fi network, while on the DJI Fly home screen, go to Profile, Settings, Firmware Update, check for firmware updates. After the DJI RC2 checks for the update, if there is none, you'll receive a message basically saying that your firmware is up to date. Now, if there is a new firmware update, you'll be alerted and then you'll have the option to run the update. Now we'll talk about updating the FlySafe database. Now, to update the Flip's FlySafe database, the first step before turning on the Flip Again, remove the gimbal and silicone camera covers. Now, after booting up your DJI RC2, make sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi network. And again, to check this, go to your settings screen by double sliding down the no notification shade. If your Wi-Fi is not enabled, tap the Wi-Fi icon and wait for a connection. If you're connecting to Wi-Fi for the first time, press and hold the Wi-Fi icon. This will bring you into the Wi-Fi settings. Here you can connect to your preferred network. Turn on the flip. And then from within the camera view screen, press the back button, which will take you to the flip home screen. If there is a Fly Safe database update available, it'll show on the DJI Fly home screen. You'll just press update and the Fly Safe database will proceed to update. This process only takes a minute or so, and it should not restart your DJI Flip. Now, for those who are new to drones in general, the firmware updates are very important for drones. And this is because they oftentimes implement performance enhancements, add new features, and address and fix bugs that otherwise hamper an excellent flight experience. 
Now, for those who've been flying drones for a while, like ourselves, staying with the drone's original release firmware was a common practice, a practice that we likewise followed for a while. This was primarily because the firmware updates back then would oftentimes break a feature or cause the drone to fly inconsistently. With newer drones like the Flip and the Air 3S, uh, updating the firmware is beneficial. Now, as mentioned, new features, tweaks, and fixes are added over time. These updates improve the overall user experience, and DJI has been quite committed to improving the flight characteristics of their new lines of drones regularly. Well, that's all for this video. If you like this video and you would like to see more content, please like and subscribe. For more tutorials and reviews, feel free to head to DroneBlog.com. Thank you.